We're going to Bruges. Bruges. First class to Bruges. And him. And me. It's a lot of bikes. The fourth country on our European adventure is Bruges. No, third country. What do you mean? We went to Wales, London, Brussels, and Bruges. Wales, England, Belgium. We were in Belgium yesterday. No, we were in Brussels yesterday, which is in Belgium, and Bruges is also in Belgium. So we're still in Belgium? We're still in Belgium. So waffles and chocolate! So this is Bruges. So far, it's not any more exciting than Brussels. Actually, Brussels was a little more exciting. And then there's that. <laughs> This looks like it dates back to, oh, I don't know, three days ago. Possibly the dumbest art installation ever. I guess that's what this is for, is to shoot really pictures cool, off of it. Yeah. it. It is stupid. This is straight up stupid. Oh, you're taking a picture of yourself. Just turn the camera around and selfie it. But it's cool. This is dumb. This is Piazza del I Don't Know. This is Le Palace of I Don't Know. What is it that you can tell me about this statue? Oh, well, we're in Bruges, which I don't know if most people know, but it's famous for tap dancing. This is actually where tap dancing got started in the early 14th century. And these two are the most famous tap dancers that have ever hit Bruges in this square. This I did not know. The history here is so amazing. is the Belfort, Belfort de la Sol. Do we have any clue what the Belfort is? Belfry and Hall. The Bruges Belfry is part of an impressive 13th century hall's building. In the Middle Ages, the hall was used for storing and displaying the much coveted Flemish cloth, as well as other goods. Today, the former sales hall is used for organizing events, exhibitions, and trade fairs. In its present form, the 83 meter high belfry is made up of three building layers. The bottom two square sections in brick were built during the 13th century. The top octagonal lantern tower in Brabant limestone was built between 1482 and 1486. Word. So we're here in Bruges, and we're right in front of an adult store, sex shop, la 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 right next to a kid's toy store. So adult toys, children toys, all in one convenient stopping location. I know you all think I'm pervy and I sought out that sex shop. But nope, it was a block away from the Belfort. See? Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! I gotta take a pee at the church. I'm gonna use the urinal here. Church? Urinal. This place is weird. We did a lot of wandering and stumbled upon some funny statues. Yeah, if you're easily offended, I'd skip ahead a minute. Why? It's art. The horse is a male, and the rider is a male. <laughs> I'm such a child. This horse is a female, but a really excited rider. And this horse is also a male, and so is its rider with some big balls. The horse has big balls too. Look at those dangly bits hang down. This horse is also a male with a weird penis. And it has a male rider with a very flat penis. These are the fighting cherubs. And there's some fighting doves. 
cherubim. Put your hand up in the air, up high. Like raise your hand. Like you're sick. Oh, right there. Right there. You are up the cherub's ass. We're here in Bridge where you can. <laughs> We're here in Bruges where you can hear the lovely chimes in the background from a cathedral. Bruges has many little canals that go throughout the town, and this is one of them with lots of old, lovely buildings surrounding us. And next to me is a modern style trash can on this side. And on this side, we have lovely new architecture going up. Such a beautiful shot with that construction over there to the right. The following morning, we had some breakfast. Yeah, but there was no nearby Starbucks. The local coffee is pretty yummy. Nah. Good morning from Bruges. We're having coffee and we're waiting for our waffles with cream and strawberries. And we're in the marketplace and our perfect. It's a little cloudy and a little rainy and cold. I miss the heat. I miss the sun. I miss the sun. I miss that. Yummy! Belgian waffles. In Bruges. Well done. Here's a walk on. After breakfast, we took a canal tour. Yeah, it was cheap, like eight euros. The doggy in the window is a local celebrity in Bruges. Yeah, afterwards we took a tour of the Half Moon Brewery. We are on top of the Half Moon Brewery house here in Bruges. And we're getting a tour of how they brew their beer here. That's pretty interesting. Hops are acidic, it has probably to do with the fact that hop and cannabis are probably a sister of one another. Both are hemp, hop, cannabis. <laughs> How would you like that job? Yeah. These are the maturation tanks. Well, all things. They're not used.
behind this door, we're gonna get some gear. Finally, we came upon a statue that interested us. Yeah, a person that actually impacted all our lives. This is Simon Steven, and he is the man who invented the decimal point. Before it was all just fractions and crap. And he said one quarter is actually 0.25. He came up with it, right there. Well, that's a statue of him, another monument, but that's him. Woo! Are you impressed now with my knowledge? I'm pretty smart. I'm a thinker. He even has a decimal point at the end of his name. Decimal point! Right there! It's odd that there was no nearby Starbucks. Maybe that's why I like Brussels better, because the Starbucks was right there in the center of the square. They had a lot of other franchises. Yeah, and they were just in the first floor of all of these old beautiful buildings, which seemed very strange, but I don't know, it was kind of cool too. Do you know why it's in California? Because we know how to party. Because California knows how to party. California is the place to be. I think we have a reservation. So we came to McDonald's to find out they have $15 an hour employees also. This is what's going to happen for $15 an hour. How does it work? You take your order. How much do I want to eat in or dine out? I'm going to eat it. I'm going to go with the sweet salad sauce. Look at that. Now my order is there. All I have to do is confirm and pay. $15 an hour. It does the job. No vacation time, doesn't get sick. And that's what happens when American fast food workers demand $15 an hour. Their jobs just melt away. Like chocolate. Nice segue. Chili. Chili. Half a chili. It's chili chocolate. That's good. The bacon has a little piggy. The piggy piggy. Cheers. Cheers. Clink. 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 Oh, crunchy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tastes like bacon. Tastes like bacon. Yeah. This is much better than a chocolate covered bacon. <laughs> it's absolutely good. And this was. Uh, I'll be back. Mm. I got the word vodka out of it and lime. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. There was vodka. So cheers, cheers. cheers. Mmm. Oh, it's weird. Mmm. We walked off that chocolate by going to see Bruges windmills. Here we are at a windmill in Bruges. This seems ridiculously dangerous. I love it. All of the benches have these little dragons. Pretty awesome. And their ladybugs look different, too. A barge, much like this one, is what carried those here. All the way from Holland. Just kidding. It was actually built here in the 1700s. No, no, right, wait a minute, right there, all right. Penis! No, massive penis. Massive penis! I gotta work. Oh, sorry. Every day! <laughs> I got bills. I got bills! I, I have, have to pay! Try to work, 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 work every day! I, I got, got mouths! I gotta feed!
So I'm gonna, gonna make sure everybody eats. I got bills. <laughs> we sang that song a lot on our trip. Yeah, it was like an anthem for Europe. So we hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, if you did, you should like this video. And click subscribe. Subscribe, like, and, and then- And share it. Share it. And for more videos, click over here on England. Or over here on Wales. Wales, England, subscribe. Like. Like, share. share. Is that like five things? You got five things to do. It's pretty easy.